So I'm going to mount the radiator back behind the seat here. Um, I'm going to have it flat, sort of, well, as close to the seat as I can get it, and then put the fan on behind there and sort of draw through the radiator this way. Um, it's going to be a bit of a squeeze with the rear section of the body there, but I think I'm just going to mount the radiator and then just cut the body to fit sort of thing. Um, but yeah, let's do that. So now I've got those on there, I'm going to plumb the radiator in uh, so I'm not tempted to run it uh, without any cooling. So yeah, let's do that in a minute. All 
Right, so that's the coolant plumbing done. Um, I had to cut out a bit of the framework there because it was in the wrong place. Um, then I had to weld some hydraulic hoses together just to sort of get it all the way around there. He welds into there, goes down, and then turns into this rubber hose here, which then goes along whoop, all the way back to the radiator. And there's another pipe that comes back, and then that one goes under the engine here. If you can see it there, just there, and then he attaches to another rubber hose and comes up another metal pipe, then merges into another hose, and then goes into the thermostat, where it comes from there, I should say, and then goes back to the radiator, but yeah. Providing the welds don't leak, it should be all right. So I've just remembered, uh, this is one of the front half shafts uh, and I've just got to finish off welding the spline onto it which consists of, oh, that washer I've just dropped, this washer, this nut which goes all the way down on and then another nut slightly higher up welded on and that'll all be welded to the shaft here and that will act as a spline, oh yeah. So that was a lot of shouting you didn't see. Um, so we've got the chains on, uh, got the brakes back on, all bled up and resealed. Um, I'm just gonna fill the coolant up a second before I do the electrics, and then if I've got any leaks, I should be able to see as I'm going sort of thing. So yeah, pour away. Right, so I've just got to hook the battery on a minute, um, jig a fuel tank up, and then I reckon it's time for a test drive. Oh yeah, baby.
Right, so that was a resounding success. Um, I don't even think anything broke yet. Um, I know that wasn't much of a test, I just went up the lane and back, but yeah, usually by now something breaks, but oh, that's pretty good. No coolant leaks, no brake leaks, chain hasn't come off, um, nothing's shaking loose, feels nice to drive. Um, the brakes need a bit of wearing in at the moment because I think I've polished the disc up a bit when I went to flappy disc it off sort of thing, but yeah. Just little niggly things sort of thing. Um, oh, and the other one big thing, I think I'm going to have to change that big sprocket there on the jack shaft because he's not quite fast enough sort of thing, but yeah. Minor problems. Look at that. Beauty. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this video. I've uh, got a bit more to do, a bit of editing to do sort of thing. Um, so yeah, if you like it, um, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.